Have you ever asked yourself why you want a new phone? Or why you want new clothes? Or a brand new car? I'm sure many of the reasons are, for example, you want to impress your friends. Or you have a hobby of just buying things, you like to buy things. And sure, those are all valid reasons, right? But I'm very sure that the majority of you guys don't appreciate what you have right now. And honestly, you, you can't even blame yourself, right? I'm sure that all of you guys are on either Instagram or TikTok or even Facebook. And every day for the past few years, you've seen thousands of videos and photos of people living their best life. You see only the good parts of their lives. You see all the beautiful cars they have, all the big houses, all the expensive and branded clothing they wear. And what that does is it makes you want to have it because you see them as happy and you, you associate that happiness with what they have. But in reality, sadly, what it does is make you less appreciative of what you have right now, which is, which is probably more than enough. But anyhow, now that we're aware of this, that what we see online gives us an unrealistic expectation of happiness and what it means. Now we can learn to understand and appreciate what we have in our life right now. And so we can dive deeper into our self-improvement journey. But before that, before that, let us think for a second. If we got everything that we wanted, that we've been conditioned in a way to think brings us happiness. Let's say we, we got that beautiful, nice car and we got a huge house. Now what? Do you think you're going to truly appreciate what you have? And of course, a lot of people are going to be like, yes, oh my God, if I get that Mercedes, oh man, I'm going to appreciate it so much. And sure, you might for a little bit, but you're not going to really truly appreciate it. Because to truly appreciate what you want, you have to appreciate what you have right now. In a way, it's like you're trying to fill a bucket with water, water meaning contentment, and there's a, there's a hole in the bucket. So no matter how much water you pour into the bucket, where there's like, you know, one car, two cars, five cars, like, let's just say it's, it's, like, it's like water, right? That bucket will never be full because there's a hole in it. Because you're not content with what you have right now. So no matter what more comes in, you're never going to feel content. And the only way to fix that bucket is to appreciate everything you have now. Even the things that you don't like, you have to appreciate what you have. Either one of these corners are in the description. I will link one of my previous videos I made a long time ago about gratitude journaling. What that does is makes you grateful for what you have now. So that when the new thing comes, something which you maybe what you dream of, and actually you work hard and you attain it, you'll appreciate it so much more than you think you would have. Because you're grateful from where you began. Anyway, for self-improvement, you have to appreciate what you have now. That's one of the bases, I'd say, or the foundations, one of the pillars of your self-improvement journey. And if you haven't started building that, I recommend you do. If you like self-improvement, subscribe, check out more of my videos. I'm sure they'll help you in your journey. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.